and welcome to the Atlanta Mirror Ball. My name is James, and today we're just going to talk about Atlanta United and basically what's going on. We're just going to have some fun. We're going to live. We're going to live comp some FIFA too. I'm going to be playing, so it'll be good. Um, first order of business, we need to talk about the big, big development, but we'll get to it. All right, we're getting into the game, man. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Three back. Okay. Let's see what he's cooking, man. All right. First news, of course, Georgios Giku Makis. That's the big thing. I can barely pronounce it, but it's the big deal. He's coming in. Hopefully, we've seen a lot of reports. We've seen a lot of reports, and it's basically... Some people are saying it's confirmed to Atlanta. Some reports, uh, it's it's so confusing, but it's definitely some some ready to go. And you know, it's not what I thought. I didn't think the first signing we would make that next striker, as we lag. Still got the ball though, all good. But uh, yeah, I did not think we would go straight into signing a striker, um, so quickly. Some people, you know. I thought we would ease into it a little bit more. For all, I mean, we just did not do that <laughs> at all. We just went straight ahead. Um, obviously, this player, in my opinion, he fits exactly what we're looking for in terms of a new striker. You know, someone who's tall, who's strong, who's physical in the box. Because, I mean, that seemed like that's what we were missing at the striker position in 2022. So, it'll, it'll definitely be exciting. Uh, to see him come in and that's basically I mean Derek Etienne was months ago so this is basically the first signing of 2023 I don't know but uh, it's definitely unlikely that I thought this would happen we saw the first report with Fab weeks ago saying that he was likely to go to the Red Diamonds in Japan but he ended up coming here which is all great and I'm ex I'm super excited this is you know, this could be a freaking game-changing signing in terms of winning ball games this year. But um, there's still work to be done in terms of the roster. And the biggest discrepancy, though, is that he is coming in on a loan deal, according to some of these early reports we have. Because I guess we're not looking to set a fee immediately, and we're obviously looking to cut as much salary as possible to make these smart decisions in case Georgios does not work out and you know it's nice that we're preparing for these things now because you never know it could pay off in the future and we score bill okay that was great timing gareth thank you all right on to the next one at nuga on saturday at 3 p.m i will be there in person i'm excited for this one not a lot of players though we have Efren morales a bunch of guys with the USA team they're out but um, you know and we have no signings anyway uh, yeah, there's a 0% chance we see Giorgio set that match too but um, I think it's gonna be fun nonetheless you know you get to see you know new faces you get to see some old guys and you also get to see your Atlanta United 2 players slash your Academy players get a nice little run out uh, which should be great I mean, also, just this experience of being able to go to a preseason friendly match is really just rare in uh, Major League Soccer. And, I mean, we get two of these matches this year with Chattanooga and the AmFam Cup, of course. But I think it's going to be great. It's a nice nice way to, to see the club and get back into Atlanta United as it's been, you know, quite a while since they've last played. So it's definitely a refreshing experience to see them live and in person. Ooh, Robbie Keane. What a goal. MLS legend of the LA Galaxy, of course. But, I mean, yeah, Chattanooga should, should be a fun experience. And, you know, I'm expecting a win, of course. But um, I'm, I'm expecting, I'm most excited to see the Academy kids and what they bring to the table. And as for what you guys think about uh, Gio or GG or, or whatever he's going to be called. What do you guys think about the signing? Leave a comment. Uh, I would like to see what you guys think because I think overall from what I've seen, it's been really positive. There's obviously that hangover of the Joseph Martinez news that might hurt a little bit of public opinion, but um, 
I'm sure this announcement and the match versus Chattanooga will help ease everything up as we head in towards the the frantic season, which, you know, we all know the famous quote from Pineda earlier, what was it, two weeks ago last week, about three signings. Yeah, this could be categorized as one of them. But I feel like there's still more needed in this club, especially as Keen is through. Oh, that was such a terrible play. Oh, my gosh, I should have trapped it. Okay. Well, yeah, um, obviously, if you go by Pineda's count, that we have two more signings left, at least in the near future. There's obviously going to be more. This MLS window is open for, for a pretty long time, actually, in, in the coming months. And then it has a quick little break, and then we're to the summer window, where you could see more important things happen. But I feel like there, there's going to be a lot of focus on putting together the best team possible, especially, you know, there's going to be a lot of hype. You know, even in the front office, I don't think they really were sold that they were going to get GG and they end up getting him. You know, it's obviously a big boost. It's like, wow, we got our guy, which it looks like it's been their guy. It's really the only striker we've been linked to all winter. Um, even we've known about the Martinez news since November. Obviously, it was official last week. But, um, you know, it's big. It's big. And if we end up getting him, which I believe we will, on a loan deal, it's it's only going to open up the possibilities of seeing how far we can push to being a contender before the season even starts in a month. Um, and I think we might push the barrier, and we might do a lot because we want to be competitive, of course. Ooh! Bail! What a goal! I think this guy's going to be out of here, man, but... Um, yeah, that was a good match, actually. I, I wanted to play a full 90, but I didn't really have much to talk about today. But um, in terms of transfer rumors, I mean, that's all we've gotten. It's been pretty quiet, like outstandingly quiet. Um, but I think they might dial it up coming up soon. And, you know, I expect, you know, alongside GG, two, maybe three more signings that could really be key, especially at center back, which we have to have a signing no matter what and central midfield which we probably need to get one no matter what in terms of depth that should should be great and when you put those pieces together you're going to start getting the preseason hype from the fan base which is probably well warranted since you know we kind of need that boost and then we go up against you know one of the lower tier opponents in mls on february 25th in san jose which that game should be fun hopefully it's a nice resounding win for Atlanta United and we get the championship hype just like we did last year versus SKC but this time we're just gonna have to cherish it before it's all gone all right thank you guys for tuning in this is the Atlanta Mirball and James thank you for tuning in and be sure to subscribe and also read our blogs because they're good it's good quality content we're gonna keep posting more and more and there's gonna be a barrage of posts once the season starts because right now it's kind of slow, especially with the lack of transfer movers. Transfer movers? No, transfer rumors. So yeah, it's going to be even more fun. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks, guys.